Hi all, this is Skate, and in this video I want to talk about something I personally despise about Blitz. And that's military honour. It sucks, it's bad, it's useless, it's abused, and it hasn't worked as intended. Personally, I'd be quite content to see it stripped out of the game. It doesn't add any value, I don't think. So I want to talk about military honour, and at the same time, I'm going to have three games. The first one is going to be someone who deserves military honour through and through, and that is that guy in front, because of what he does at the very end of the battle. He deserves military honour praised upon him for what he does. Yet it means nothing when I give it to him, because it's just given every battle to everybody. The second game is going to feature an absolute cretin who deserves to be banned outright, if you want my honest opinion, because people like that ruin the game. And you'd be surprised how often it happens to people. It's really annoying. And this guy in particular, I wouldn't usually give the time or day, or put him in a video, or give him the stage. But I'm going to today because I wanted to talk about military honour and he is the pinnacle Muppet in my eyes. So. I know some people are going to find this a contentious topic, and some people are going to have differences of opinions, so I know the comment section may not look too pretty on this one. I also know some people may not like the fact that I'm not going to bother wasting my time trying to censor the guy's name like I have in previous credit and cretin type videos. And the third clip in the video I personally think is a very funny game, and I don't know how I survived. A lot of RNG, a lot of luck. <laughs> but the enemy T-62A gets reported as a result of that battle. I don't actually think he did anything wrong myself, except for mess up a couple of times and let me live a little bit longer as a result. Um, but I don't think that's justifiable to have someone penalised and banned for an hour, personally. We all have different skill levels at the end of the day. So yeah, although this is going to be a contentious issue, many people will agree and many people will disagree, I really do think this is a topic which needs to be discussed. And like I said, it's personally something I hate about Blitz. But let's talk on the happy stuff first. I mentioned that AMX on the team. I haven't exactly had the greatest game, it's not exactly my perfect performance, I am well aware what my performance is like in this game. It's quite bad. <laughs> I know that, we all have bad games. Should I be banned for an hour because I didn't uh, play well in this one? No, this is the happy part. <laughs> um, you can tell this is a topic I don't like. Now, there's two of us left, there's two of them left. We work together, we finish the T32 off. It's just a boar sig left. He knows there's two of us left, but he knows we're both one shot. He's a good boar sig player. And he knows what he's doing. But this is why I want to give credit to this guy, because it's something so simple. But watch what happens at the end. In chat, he points out that he's going to go first. And then I take the kill. Because he knows my gun, hopefully, will be enough to finish him in one. And his, well, won't be. So the guy basically sacrifices himself for the sake of a win. Now, to some, this doesn't seem like a big deal. But to me... You don't see it an awful lot, but this is exactly what it was raised for. The guy sacrificed himself, allowed me to put my last HE shell into him, didn't finish him, but a quick ram, by working as a complete random team, won the game. Even if I didn't have the greatest of games myself, it was still a win because of that guy. Now I know there's a couple of people thinking, big whoop, no big deal. I think it is, because this is exactly what military honor was built for the whole purpose so you could differentiate between players based on their star rating and pick someone to work with but if everybody pretty much has got five star except for a handful of people it's useless and well yet this guy in my eyes is the perfect example of what it was built for yet i could probably count on one hand how many times i've actually gone wow teamwork that's very nice to see it's a rarity especially to the level of tell you what let's work together i'll go yolo in and kill myself you follow behind and finish off now i contacted that guy after the battle to say hey i run a small youtube channel i'm going to be doing a video 
feature in that game and a couple of others from the opposite perspective. Um, just want to give you a massive thank you. And he went, no worries, I'll check it out, thank you. Um, hadn't heard of the channel, that's not the reason he's done it or anything like that. So on the off chance he is watching, thank you, mate. This one is completely the opposite end of the spectrum. And watch the chat and watch the friendly Leo. Now I'd like to put it out there that I'm not a delicate flower. That's not the reason I'm making this video. It's no skin off my nose. I'm one of these people who, it's a four minute game. It's not the end of the world. I'll just go to the next one. And there's a load of you guys out there who are very much the same. But there's a lot of you as well who just can't tolerate this crap. And it's really annoying. Now, I've kind of got used to it because running even a small YouTube channel like mine, you'd be surprised how much hate you get, even in-game or in the comments. And I kind of enjoy those messages and I kind of had fun with them. <laughs> and by doing that, I've kind of learned to deal with trolls and it's fun. For example, only one silly one which comes to mind because it happened the other day. Someone just left me a comment saying, you are stupid. S-T-U... B I D. Now I didn't rage, I didn't get angry, I didn't ban him from my comment section. I just merely pointed out in response with a star S T U P I D. Shortly afterwards, <laughs> he deleted his comment. Point being is not everybody can handle this stuff, and not everybody is used to this crap. So you gotta look at the bigger picture. This can ruin someone's entire day. Being told get cancer. And crap like that in game by this Leo, remember watch the chat, will ruin someone's day, will hurt them, will insult them. I did the Macmillan cancer raising last year. Because I've had people very close to me, I have cancer. Does the stupid comment he make in game upset me? No, because he's just an idiot. Is it going to upset people who are dealing with that right now? Potentially. It's one of those things that you have to look at the bigger picture and the bigger age brackets. I've got kids of my own. I've seen enough of this when I was a kid. It doesn't bother me. But yeah, I have a daughter who's coming up towards teenagers. She's 10 and she's acting like a teenager. And anyone else who has a daughter will know what it's like. When they get to that sort of age, don't really have a great deal of interest in hanging out with dad. <laughs> On the rare occasions they do, you really enjoy it. Now my daughter said to me the other day, it was about, I don't know, coming up in the evening, we're all chilling out, and she went, oh, do you fancy playing some games, Dad? I was like, yeah, that sounds like great fun. And this is actually what triggered me to make the video. I went, oh, do you fancy playing some Blitz with me, we'll platoon? And she went, no thanks, Dad. Do you fancy playing PUBG? And I did laugh, but I asked her why, and the simple answer is, there's too many morons in Blitz, Dad. There's too many people who cry in Blitz, Dad. And I can't be bothered to deal with messages if I make a mistake. And you know what? She's spot on. Now instantly someone's jumped to the comment section and they're gonna write, Ah, oh, you gotta be over the age of 13 to play this game. Yes, that's a parental advisory, but if you look in the app store, it says the parental advisory is based on scenes of violence. It doesn't say, warning, over the age of 13, because there are people who will contact you in rage and wish death upon you and your family. Merely because you made a mistake in a three minute game. Come on. But the other reason she's right, um, and I gotta tell you this, me and Explode Gaming were playing a couple of duos in PUBG Mobile last night. And we were having a very good game, and he died just at the end, and I was against the last two. And I saw them before they saw me. I was hiding behind a rock on a mountain. They were hiding behind another rock on the mountain. And it was a good game, and that was it. We could have got the win. I clicked the jump button instead of the crouch button. And I pretty much waved to these two guys and asked them to machine gun me to death. Now, <laughs> I kind of threw away a really good game, but it was absolutely hysterical. And we laughed a lot about it. Yet if it was Blitz and you had a monster game and you accidentally threw it away or you watched someone throw it away, you would be raging. 
and you'd probably be fuming. And you know what? I fall into this category. If I have a really, really good game and I do something stupid and throw it away, I get so frustrated. Now, I'm not the sort to go blame the team and rage like hell. I'll just put the game down and give it a break. What made it even funnier, by the way, is we were on for our third chicken dinner in a row. Um, and I, I, I threw it away. Now, Explode Gaming is a very competitive, very strong player. And even he was not angry with me. He found it hysterical because I literally just jumped and waved at these guys. And we could have had three chicken dinners in a row and I threw that away. Anyway, hopefully you've been watching the chat in here. And what you would have noticed is the guy basically wishing cancer on someone on the red team. I had an awful game, but what you expect? I had a Leo attached to the front and then attached to the back of my tank. Yet, if you ask me, the people like this, who are the blockers, are the people who ruin the community the most, the game the most. And they're the ones who also rage like hell and blame everybody else all the time. So this got me thinking. This is a mobile online game. The crux of it is basically the same as a lot of other mobile games. You have a gun, you have hit points, and it's an online multiplayer platform. The key thing is... This gives you the ability to do it so damn easily. It's an online game. You're expecting trolls. You're expecting idiots. The difference is the quantity. And more importantly, giving them the platform so easily to do it. I mean, the damn chat's massive. It's right in the top in the middle. On top of that, you can send anyone a message anytime. You don't have to send them a friend request first. To get the messages at least that way if you had some sort of ability like that you're reducing the platform for them to rage on but then of course we now have the option to turn off chat as well which if it wasn't for you guys who like to say hello and i definitely like to say hello back i would have chat off but then the other thing is the radial buttons in the corner don't really give you a huge amount of options i miss the reload button yeah it's on the screen Having a prompt in terms of seconds for someone else on your team is much more useful, I think. I don't think hold position is very good at all. Hold where? But yeah, online trolls in games, it's, it's, it's online gaming. You expect it, but given such an easy platform to do it on, really increases the frustration levels in the game. And sadly, when you're increasing the frustration levels in the game, you are heavily reducing the fun factor. And that's a shame, really, because Blitz is an absolutely epic online game. But you have no idea how many comments I have read with people put off the game due to the toxic things they see. Saltiness is funny. But when it's too extremes, it's just... That's when you need to get rid of someone's platform. And Military Honor doesn't do that. It just gets abused. I mean, look at the World of Tanks PC version, look where the chat is, it's in the bottom left hand side, you can very easily ignore it if you want to. Look at PUBG, it's in the top right hand side, it's very small, it's very easy to ignore if you want to. Or another platform, World of Tanks console, doesn't even have chat, has plenty of options on the radial buttons, and then if you want to talk to team, use the voice comms. Or just turn them off, because you have the option next to someone's tank to just turn them off. But here's where I think it lets... Oh, by the way, this is where the game gets interesting, because there's many times right now where I should be dead. Um, but on the topic as well, this game is funny, actually. <laughs> um, damn it, where was I? Oh, yeah. On the topic of that, when you get sheer frustration and rage that, you end up frustrating, but you want to play your game because you want to have fun. But then you end up frustrated yourself, and you end up getting frustrated with Blitz, getting frustrated with other players. And thus, it's a horrible, horrible, vicious circle. And this is something Military Honor was brought in to try and help with. It didn't help. It compacted and made the situation ten times worse. You gave people options of abusing it. I mean, someone in your team, you don't like what they've done, you ask your team to report them. All you need is a couple of people to follow along and that's it. They get a penalty just for not performing in a way someone else was not happy with. They get banned just because someone wasn't happy with their performance. What sort of system is that? You get a platoon of trolls who just go and give people feedback because they didn't like something. 
and the other person gets penalised just because they're not as competent as the platoon. It's ridiculous. What I want to point out about this third game, however, is they have the option to do this. So you give someone the option, they'll use it. You take away that option, nobody cares. I don't think the people who said in this last game to report the T-62 are bad people. The Leo was <laughs> in the previous game. But I don't think he's a bad person. I don't think it's horrible. I think he's using the platform he's given. It's not a reflection on him. It's a reflection on the system. It's a reflection on military honor not working as it should. Because this is the norm in Blitz for people to get reported for not performing well enough. So on the off chance the IS-7 player is watching this, it's no reflection on you, mate. I really don't mean it to come across as such. Uh, the, the Leo game, yeah, obviously. But this one is meant to show that this is the norm in Blitz. This isn't somebody... Well, what originally was abuse of the system is the norm of the system now. This is how it is in Blitz. And for that reason, I think it is so broken. I mean, it's like reviewing other players. Is that going to be next? <laughs> Are you going to go on a profile page and find five or three star reviews or one star reviews from people who previously platooned or people who previously played a battle with you? I previously platooned with this gentleman. He was not a team player. He accidentally blocked me at one point in time and didn't perform adequately. One star review would not recommend to friends. Or this player was wonderful. He did everything as expected, carried my sorry butt in every single game. I strongly recommend my friends give this guy a go. Five star review. This sounds a little far fetched, but that's what we're doing. We're rating people. You're giving people the option to rate other players. Which is so open to abuse, it's unreal. Which is why I think it should be automated. It won't be perfect but it'll be a more realistic figure. And it removes a holy truck ton of salt from the game. Like I said, it's an online game. Some salt is kind of fun. But when you have the platform to give so much and receive so much, I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good for the game. I don't think it's good for the community. You're inviting it. You're inviting more toxic attitudes into the game. And what we actually need is the opposite. You just want to get on with your game. From a personal perspective, the less frustrated I am, the better I perform, and thus the more fun I have. But when you get frustrated, you don't really enjoy yourself, and you don't end up having good games. And then at that point, it's just an addiction, which is really bad. But this is what is just the vicious circle of it. You've got military honour, which compacts the situation, and then you've got the chat, which is just abused like holy hell because it's in plain sight. Ah, the system really needs reworking for the sake of the community and expansion of the game. Because, like I said, you have no idea how many comments I read from you guys who say it's this part of the game you hate. So that's my viewpoint on military honour. I've been asked so many times in the comments what my viewpoint is on it. And I thought it's about time I made the video. And like I said, more than anything, it was my daughter's comments, which actually sprung a light bulb for me. So... Whether you agree or you disagree, let me know in the comments. It's interesting to have different takes, different ideas, and different perspectives on this. Either way, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.